And so I think it is disastrous what they're doing now, taking Donald Trump off the ballot in Colorado. I think it's wrong, it's immoral, it's anti-American. And within minutes of when I learned that, I made an announcement. There was on that campaign bus outside as soon as I heard it between two of these campaign events. You saw that I would take my name off the ballot in Colorado in the GOP primary if they take Donald Trump off the ballot, because what's the point of going through these motions if we don't have an election that we can believe in? And I'm calling it every other Republican. I asked every other Republican in this race to do the same thing. That's the solution. Because then we nullify actually the impact of their decision if Colorado's delegates don't count. Unfortunately, the other Republicans said, well, we need to collect our delegates in Colorado. So it tells a lot about the state of our many of the at least standard candidates in our party. But it does bring me to a deeper issue, and I'm sad to say this, but it's true. And I think it's, it's time we open our eyes to this reality. You guys have an important decision to make in about 20 days. And I think this is critical for you to understand. It's become evident to me. They will not let this man, Donald Trump, get anywhere near the White House again. And I think they're leading us into a trap. They're selling us the rope today that they will use to hang us tomorrow. That's what's happening. And it's up to us to make sure we don't fall for their trap. They used a man-made pandemic and associated election interference, big tech on down, last time around, to do it. This time, they will stop at nothing. And I, I mean nothing. They will stop at nothing this time around. With That's the truth. And we cannot be duped anymore. We've been duped enough times. And so it's happening in plain sight. It, it, it almost tortures me to watch it. But our movement, America First, cannot end with Donald Trump. It doesn't belong to one man. It doesn't belong to Trump just as it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to you, the people of this country. And it's our responsibility to make sure we open our eyes and don't wishfully fall into the trap. We'll look back a year and a half from now and say it was obvious. Right? You look at what we knew now and say, what were we thinking? That's what's going on right now. So now it's up to us to open our eyes and see it. And I'm the only other America First candidate in this race. I think I'll take our movement to the next level. We love the man because he got this fight started. But now it's our job to finish it. It will take now somebody who has not yet been wounded in that war. Somebody from the next generation with fresh legs to reach and lead the new generation. Unfortunately, they duped him in some ways. They said you can't fire those employees because of civil service protections. Read the law. You can do it if you're bringing mass layoffs to the Washington, D.C. bureaucracy. That's what I'm bringing. So it's going to take somebody with those sharp elbows, but who also understands the law and the Constitution. And we will honor his legacy more than anybody else in this race is or will, because it's the right thing to do. But now it's up to us to carry our movement to the next level and not fall into the trap that's been laid for us. So you have my word, I will do everything in my part to stop that election interference. That's what I've been doing at every step. But it's becoming clearer that that's not the end. That's just the beginning of what's about to come in 2024. And it's up to us to make sure we don't get duped by their trick. Sir? On the world stage, yep. uh, there's a... Um, movement to, to bring in, in one world order. Yes, there is. One world 